my YouTube friends, it is I, the Phantom Snake, here doing my first rant in a while after doing like 20 some experimental videos and collabs and just mainly peace of mind videos. But this is something that's been on my chest for a while. I want to rant about Pokemon. Now, some of you are going to probably be thinking, oh, he's going to rant that there should have been only 151 Pokemon, and that the first generation was the only good one. Oh, or that's completely stupid, or it's about the fanboys of Pokemon. And the third one is right. The third one I am going to be talking about. However, the first two comments, like, oh, there should have been only 151, or Pokemon Stupid, has to do with the, the fanboys, or whatever. Of course, I'm also going to be talking about the people who think that um, the original 151 should have been just the way it is, and that all the rest of them are stupid, and just as such. And then, the ones that absolutely hate the franchise, just think it's completely stupid and childish. And then lastly, we're going to be talking about, let's see, oh, of course, the hardcore Pokemaniacs. Of course. Now, I used to be a hardcore Pokemaniac back in the day, when there was only 151. Back then, Pokemon was like a second religion to me. I mean, the anime was one of the greatest shows ever. And Pokemon Red and Blue were, were two games that I was just absolutely addicted to and couldn't get enough of. But nowadays, I've settled down and I'm not as hardcore as I used to be. Especially since the newer generations don't offer that sort of thing that made the first one so intense and so gratifying. I'm, I'm not saying the later generations are bad. I'm just saying when Pokemon was first introduced, it was like, oh man, this is incredible. I mean, wow. And looking back at it now, I gotta say, whoever came up with that idea is brilliant. Alright, but now to the main focus. Now, first of all, I'm going to talk about the people who think that the original 151 Pokemon were the way that it should be. Like, basically, they only like the red and blue and think the other ones are terrible. Okay, first of all, the newer generations are not that bad. I mean, are you even going to criticize the, the second generation for adding a hundred more? I mean... And in my opinion, gold and silver are better than red and blue. I'm just, I'm just pointing that out. There's just some things wrong with red and blue that they fix in gold and silver. So, and most importantly, you can't call yourself a, a Pokemaniac if you, if you think the rest of the games are just awful and just think the series is dead. No, the series is not dead. Uh, admittedly, the anime is nowhere near as good as the first season. I mean, I only liked the first season. The later seasons were pretty good, but they weren't as good as the first season, of course. I mean, I can't say that I liked it even better. More importantly, if you say you're, you're a hardcore fan and you only think the original 151 is the only way to go, then you're not a fan at all. You're just a fan boy. As for these Pokemon haters, as I call it, well, they're just, they're just people who don't know what they're talking about. They're saying Pokemon is bad and anyone who plays it is an idiot. Come on. You're going to say people are idiots just because they like something that's, well, just unique, in the, as a matter of fact? No. As a matter of fact, there's even a website for video game reviewing called OldWizard.com. One of the worst video game reviewing sites ever, without a doubt. I mean, 
They also have these top 10 lists, and one of them is the top 10 ways to tell what, that you're bad at video games. And number one on their list is you play Pokemon. Wow, I can't believe it. Okay, first of all, I don't play Pokemon if I'm looking for a challenge. I play Pokemon because it's fun. That's why I play the other games, because I enjoy them. I like them. I mean, video games are supposed to do that. And even if they're easy, if they're fun, they're good games. Assuming the controls actually are fluid, and some of the other st stuff is not too shabby, but hey. Video games are mainly about gameplay, and just and just being sure that it actually functions right. It isn't about graphics, it isn't about challenge or the story, it's about gameplay. I mean, and if you're saying Pokemon has no gameplay value, well, and you're saying it's the worst excuse for an RPG ever, well, I'll tell you something. It's a lot different than most of the other RPGs, but that's what makes it good. I mean, it's unique. It, it involves a lot of strategy. And instead of having like a party of some different characters, you can have a party of six choosing whatever Pokemon you like. It adds strategy and thinking. Not to mention you can customize its moves. And you're saying that's not unique? There's no gameplay value to that? Well, come on. Alright. Alright, lastly, I want to talk about the fanboys. And I figure Helsing920 and other ranchers can touch more on that, but there's actually two types of fanboys. Well, three types. I already covered the, the original first generation kind. Now, I'm going to talk about the hardcore Pokemaniacs. The ones that are just obsessed with it. Okay. Now, like any other fanboys, if you talk ill about, po about their favorite franchise, they will flip out. Like, hmm, they'll freak out. Like, this, this franchise is terrible. Anyone who likes it is stupid. Like, oh, I hate you! You don't know what you're talking about! Blah, 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 blah. Now, as bad as the guy ripping on Pokemon is, saying that's completely dumb, the fanboy is just as bad by defending it after just one in minor insult on you know, Or if it's just one insult, come on. Not to mention, not everyone can like one thing. I mean, and lastly, in the fanboy section, I want to mention some of the artists who... It's hard to explain what some of them draw. That ends that chapter. I say to you farewell.